What's going on everybody, it's Conti here with another video. How to create a blur transition in DaVinci Resolve. DaVinci Resolve version 15 is used in this tutorial. At present on my timeline, I have one PNG file on the video project that I am editing. My intention is to create an effect where an image blurs and then returns to its normal state. Go down to the Deliver option at the bottom of your DaVinci Resolve window. Under Render Settings, which will affect how your final video will be formatted. Under Custom and Export Video, you should be able to see the frame rate of the video that you will be creating. The frame rate in my current project is 24. This number should be remembered for the transition creation so that you are able to apply the transitions at appropriate times when using the Fusion Editor window. Back inside my edit window, the logo PNG image is the only edit on my timeline. The edit furthest up on your video track list will be the one that appears by default when you open the Fusion window. If I left click to open the Fusion window now, we should now come across a window where there are two nodes connected together. Media In basically represents the input, which is the image of the channel logo, which you should be able to see in a preview alongside the inspector and the second node represents the output which will be the overall content which is presented to the end user. Left click on the media in one node. This should now be highlighted in red to show that it is selected. Above the nodes window you should see a selection of effects that can be applied to your input. The blur icon should look like a water drop. Left click on this once and you should see a blur node appearing on your window after media in one and just before media out one. Ensure that this is selected with a red outline around it. In order for my blur transition to start at the one second mark here in this example, I will need to find the correct frame number on the timeline in the preview box within the fusion area. The image on my timeline has a duration of five seconds. Ensure that your red indicator appears at the start of the actual media edit which you wish to apply a blur transition to. If you drag the red indicator afterwards and go back to the fusion window, you won't be able to see anything in the preview box. Going back to the edit window, I will move the indicator back to the start of this particular timeline where the image first appears at zero seconds. Going back to Fusion now, with my blur node selected, the blue Conti logo edit seen on the edit window timeline was positioned between the 0 and 5 second marks of the video project and in order for the logo image to be displayed to the viewer over this 5 second duration, a set of frames are used to store the visual elements of the logo file. In the Fusion preview window, the first frame of this logo image from the edit timeline is represented in the first box to the left which is zero. The next box to the right of this represents the final frame from this image file which is 119. The blur in this video should not commence until one second has passed. In order to go to the first second we need to go 24 frames in as the frame rate as previously discussed in the deliver window is 24 which means 24 frames will show per second in the exported video file of this project. As was seen on the edit window in DaVinci Resolve, a red indicator can be used to point to specific parts of the timeline for a multimedia project for editing and preview purposes. The red indicator here, for example, has been dragged to the five second mark of this project. In the fusion window, a red indicator is also utilized to point to particular frames within an animation sequence from your media output node. And at present, the indicator appears at the start of the first frame 0.0, .0 as indicated by the box in the bottom right corner of the preview section. The red indicator can be dragged manually using your left mouse button, as is done in the edit windows timeline. Or alternatively, the frame number can be typed into the box with the big 0.0, .0 currently inside. In order to go to the one second point, I need to change the 0 to 24. 
since the blur node is still selected, you should see under inspector some settings for this particular blur effect. Left click on the diamond icon next to blur size. This should now appear red and indicates that we have created a keyframe. A keyframe basically represents the start or the end of an animation sequence within a video. And in this case here, I want the logo to remain in its original state until the one second mark. By the two second mark, I wish for the logo to have blurred. Therefore, I'm going to jump forward to frame 48. Left click on the diamond next to blur size once more to create another keyframe. And as an example here, I'm going to increase the blur size to maximum. The blur filter I'm using is fast Gaussian. And by the third second mark, I wish for the logo to return to its original state and for the blur effect to disappear. So therefore to go to the third second, I need to type in 72 into my frame number reference box here. Again, like the previous two times, once you are at the correct frame number, left click on the diamond next to blur size to create a keyframe. And in order to make the blur effect disappear, I'm going to drag the blur size back to zero. If I go back to the start of this video sequence in this fusion editor window, by left clicking on the previous chapter button here, you should see the red indicator now on the far left of this frame line. If I left click on the play button to preview, keep an eye on the inspector window displaying your blur settings as the video plays. You can see that the blur increases after the one second mark and decreases just before the three second. And the logo remains in its original state without a blur effect in the last two seconds of the video. Thank you very much for watching. I hope that video was useful to you. To support this channel, please like and subscribe. Join me soon for another video. Take care.